Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6 with me. I'm the game mechanic. You probably know that. Um, and we have just entered a dark age in the Renaissance era with Masquerade Catherine here. Or Magnificent Catherine, as it were. Uh, and so we're going to need to pick a dedication that gives us more era score. I really don't have any trade routes to synergize with uh, coinage. But Monumentality seems quite good to me. We are exactly in the phase of the game where we're trying to get some districts down and trying to get our economy improved with that. The other thing is Exodus is a real opportunity for us. Um, we, we need to evangelize our religion. We need to start spreading it to some of our other cities. We do have it here already. Yeah, this goes on YouTube. I got, I got years of, of Civ content up there for you, Mr. Bra. Um, we have, so we can get uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 era score from, from that. I think that's probably enough. Because I don't think I'm getting 18 districts down, right? No, don't tell me Hoosier. I, I it's already been spoiled, but like I don't I don't if people don't want to know because it's unofficial, I want to respect that because I'm frankly one of those people. Um yeah, I think I'll take Exodus then. And we just need to prioritize using some of our faith on that this time this this uh era. And that'll be alright. So Exodus it is. Our new threshold is 126. So we need like 50 era score. Yeah, no, I appreciate you, Hoosier. It's all good. We have eight turns on our emergency. Took out a knight. Say good night. Take out those units. Absolutely. Optimal pressure. Welcome on in. I am, uh, I really, and Sony, thank you for the follow as well. Uh, didn't see that one right away. Because my notifications don't work today, which is sad. Um, yeah, I am not a, I, I hate spoilers. I, it is, I don't even watch movie trailers because I hate spoilers. All right, so we have 14 turns until our Shetta. Uh, I don't think I'm getting the guild's boost I might be able to get an artist. So profit, profit, profit. Scientists, Commandante Generals, of course. Uh, single writer to Russia, we should try to buy the, those great works. Second one to Russia, we should try to buy those great works. Artist to Russia, we should try to buy those great works. There's an emergency zond. Start with that. Ooh, I feel like these valuations have been changed, or maybe Peter just really likes it. I think we're I think we're gonna have to wait. We'll we'll get all his great works eventually. Oh nice. And uh yeah, we're getting that extra culture. I kinda even forgot that was a thing. I do want more builders, so perhaps Perhaps it's fair to build another round of builders. I know we just kind of got a bunch, but it's not enough. It never is. Let's switch into Merchant Republic. Three era score for that. Whoa. So I guess this has not been improved. Autocracy, classic republic, autocracy, autocracy, classic republic. So I don't, I guess I don't fully under, I guess their culture hasn't been outstanding. So it's somewhat understandable that they're not in their next government yet. I think that Russia would be, I mean, this is all, Rena this is Renaissance era. So everybody is here. So they've either avoided this and, and this, or they've, or I don't know. I don't know. That's supposed to have gotten better. We'll see if it, uh, we'll see if they actually, 
adopt new governments soon. Uh, I could start to run aesthetics. That seems pretty good to me. Probably run that for the rest of the game. We'll keep Serfdom as a temporary one. I might want the holy... No, I only have like the one holy... I have two holy sites. I don't need Twilight Valor to fight this war. So I don't need any of these Dark Age policies. Um, I might want to start trying to accumulate some riders. Although I find that two is fairly bad. Do that for Petra. Do that for gold. Do this for gold. How long has this war been going on? Almost all game. So basically we, we declared war, a surprise war on Sweden, stole a settler. She stole a city. We eventually got it back. And then we also, you know, just as a tax, took two of our cities. And then this is an emergency to, that has been declared on us uh, to, to, to give these back. Uh, so it's been going on for 22 turns. So in two turns, we can start to get Apostles. Again, I'm going to need a theater square somewhere, right? So I'll just I'll just put it here. So this is going to be a very low pr production city. Actually, it should probably go here. In all honesty. The tack on the maze? Just woods. Just some woods that I need to uh, plant eventually in order to enable all these seaside resorts that we want. We are at war with Korea, so we need to be slightly careful over there. I guess we're just hard teching cartography. We are getting harbors in this game, but just not quickly enough. Jeb's gone. It's mostly, I, I put the woods tax in to mostly be like, hey, 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 dum-dum. That's me. I'm calling myself a dum-dum. Hey, dum-dum, don't, don't put a district there. <laughs> or at least not one that, uh, that doesn't give you appeal. Is pillaging at Korea for economy worth it? No, we'll just lose our scout. This is an ancient era scout. She's got walls. The AI is definitely improved on, on prioritizing walls, although Russia's kind of defying Defying that, but I have noticed I have noticed an increased uh, effort to get walls um, in just about every city, and in two turns we'll be able to get over the dark, uh, the the deep water here, so that will be good as well. So we have a holy site, we have a, a library. Uh, I, I I guess I could buy stuff. I guess I can do this. It's the next important thing. I could get the commercial hub too. I really hope we get this Petra. If we don't, we're going to have to put an entertainment complex there and just pretend that it's Petra. <laughs> yeah, vague. That's what I was saying is, is the most recent patch said that that was addressed. And so that's why I was looking at what governments they were in for my own edification. Lots of chops in this city. Um, this city could certainly build a wonder or two for us. We have trip. We have quadruple stone chop, 
triple woods chop? What have I done here? Okay. What what what's going on? <laughs> and none yet. Oh man. Kill was kill what could be interesting, yeah. Could be a thing. It's, it's it's weird because like I don't really want to improve this with a lumber mill if I'm just gonna chop it later for um for for our chateaus and we're very very close to that so that's where I'm thinking like well maybe we save some of these builders even though we've kind of prioritized getting them or I could just send you up there and be useful that's all right too like here I think they need this for now. How much how much longer am I gonna play? Is that what you're wondering, Vague? And we just started this video, so at least at least long as long as we need to finish this one. I hope no one else is building this Petra. I'm a little scared to look, but let's be brave. Alright, we good. We good on the Petra. Singapore just doing work. It's good to have friends. Here, oh no, I, I still can't. I still can't get to this. campus starting to see earth goddess kind of perk up percolate into our empire here again i think this is fine for now we'll have to switch it later so i was gonna make that a chateau i guess this is never going to be improved Suppose I could just put this anywhere. Meh. Are rock bands necessary to win with culture? Yeah, you can win without. You can win without for sure. Uh, optimal pressure. Thanks for the follow. And uh, Devin, Devin AF. Thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Uh, no, not rock bands are not uh, not necessary. And in fact, you you sometimes run into a brick wall if you're if you're trying to go after the the culture leader, they're likely to get to that policy that shuts off your rock bands uh, and run it. We've, we've, we've had that in quite a few games. So rock bands are a bit of a risk. It just really depends on, it's a value proposition thing, right? As far as rock bands versus national parks, the earlier you, earlier you can get those national parks, the better, because there's time for them to accumulate their, their uh, tourism per turn. Um, but if you're just looking for burst or at the end of the game, like, you know, if you're three turns from ending the game, a national park's not helping you. But a rock band might. So it's just kind of a, it's, it's a timing thing. Um, and rock bands can be powerful, but they can also just whiff. Well, I don't even know why I'm building these farms, honestly. We're, we're very close to these uh, chateaux. We'll circumnavigate next turn. All who wander are lost. World first. So we get five era score for that. That's going to help us along to our next golden, or in this case, heroic. It looks like the troops have stopped. I don't need to chop Petra. No one's building it. I could go after Forbidden City. I haven't seen that go.
because that would be an interesting one to like chop out down here. Although I can't build it next to this awkwardly. Harbor. Let's get the lighthouse. Ideally, you're doing that, Krusty, but it doesn't matter all that much. So we have five envoys. I'm sick of Peter having them. I want them. They're mine now. Do we want to start running our project? Uh, we may in the capital. I mean, I, I only have a couple theater squares. I also don't have that many copies of luxuries. And because the cost of that um, project scales with each time you complete it, I think I want to make sure that I've got more luxuries in the bank before we start running it. But I am going to stop trading luxuries as we kind of get some uh, trade routes and things down. We'll also open up some international trade routes here in four turns when they fail their emergency. pre-build the project and only finish when you have the luxuries in the bank. Ooh, that's a that's a the clever idea, Stick. That's a clever clever idea. This is another place that we could build a wonder. Credit Peppermint Butler. Thanks Peppermint. I didn't see your I didn't see your comment or or your strat if you were doing that. But I can confirm Peppermint Butler knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I don't really, I don't think I want to trade stuff, right? How do you do, how do you value, value internal versus international trade routes? Uh, I found inter internal trade routes are always better and commercial hubs make up for the no international trade routes. I don't think that's true. Um, I think I think internal trade routes are quite good if you have a new city or a new city that has a long way to grow um, or a city that has like Zimbabwe or Ruhr, like it has some major projects and stuff to do. But I tend to value the gold because it is harder to, to, to get gold. Um, and so I, I, I try to have like alliances and then run like the uh, Whistlebankin. That's quite nice if you're going to do international trade routes to get some food and production on there as well. Uh, but I, it's a split for me is, is, is my answer. Like, like this city could certainly use an internal trade route to the cap, right? Any of these new cities at this point, but like this city that has seven of seven, I don't really want an internal trade route here. Like I'd much rather have gold. So it just depends on the city and what, and how long it's existed really. All right. We can still go for this plan. It's, it's kind of slow, but. Didn't really need Magnus here for much. We still have quite a few chops here if we want them. So, what wonders are available? Oh. That is interesting. How is this still here? My body. Okay, I'll go after that next. That that would uh, sure up our religion, our our um, that whole thing we were talking about with uh, getting our religion going. <laughs> I 
and Diplo's on the menu. I mean, we do have some Diplo. We have three. <laughs> this is really not worth the chop. Although, I'm still going to do it. No, well, no, that can be a... Seven turns on Chateau. Seems pretty slow to me. Uh, Mahabadi is classic. Really, Korea? Really? Anything we want to change here? I'm not really getting the builders anymore. We can probably sub that out. I think I want natural philosophy. Because I would really like to get to uh, flight. Jerp, thank you so much for the six months. Welcome on back. Good to have you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the ongoing support. Welcome on back. Thank you for the half a year. That's awesome. That is great. <laughs> this is a fun one. It's a fun game. Don't be intimidated. It's, you know, uh, even I, I tell people all the time that the trick to deity is just being comfortable being behind. Chad is sitting here staring at my my econ and thinking that I'm a bad Civ player, but like we're going to win this game. Um, you know, and, and, and so it's really just a matter of like managing that emotion of like, ah, I'm panicked. And then like, you know, you hit the panic button or you quit the game or whatever. And that's just no good. No quitting. It's not quitting time. There are certainly games where our economy has overtaken the AIs at this point. Um, but again, this has been kind of a weird and fun one. With the wars and the, and, and the whatnot. It's not too far into the game. Turn 131 isn't nuts. Of that is over here. That is his problem. Very easy game to play. Very hard game to play optimally. Yeah, I, I agree with that, MK. That's a, that's a that's a good, easy easy to pick up, hard to master type of a game. Which is why it's uh, so fun to play for you know even my four four thousand two hundred and twenty fifth hour. <laughs> Still fun for me. Eight techs away from flight. Korea killed it. Good job. Maybe maybe I still have enough time to grab this goodie hut. What do you, what all right chat, what do we think's gonna be in the goodie hut? I should have an emote for every goodie hut uh reward. That's what I should do. No, I don't need diplo points. We're not winning diplo. Even with even with this kind of diplo um competition. We have two to grab here, so. Uh oh. Need to pick a boost. Military tactics. 
and astronomy. Those are my guesses. Hey, are you serious? How you doing? that can take that city while we're still in the emergency and diplo twice and in both times it was by accident <laughs> Four era score for that. Getting some nice chunks of era score here. And a ton of Diplo favor. Are, are, should we sell that since we're not really going to be selling resources? Oh, I didn't start on the... Fine. Two more turns. We'll start. Three turns on Petra. Have I heard of Stream Raiders? Yeah. Yeah, Travis plays, uh, Semulin plays uh, Stream Raiders. It's pretty cool. Three turns on humanism. Gonna pillage that. 40 gold. Military tactics. Hey, that's the one that's one of the ones I called. Okay, so that's done. I think we have to wait one more turn before I can make peace. Oh, whoops. Rip. Wants to give me Niter and Diplo favor. We're in Exodus, Blue Wings. Do you want to make peace or nah? Vanilla peace there. Okay, so now that we have this opportunity where everyone is peaceful, at least for a moment, let's go ahead and do some Diplo-related Diplo things. Not selling these. Not, In fact, we could buy a bunch uh, later on in the game if need be, but let's do open borders. Um, and we'll, we'll check that out in a second. You want money for open borders? We're in, uh, Blue Wings was asking what dedication we're in, and we are in Exodus of the Evangelists. This is our, um, our, dedic our dedication. We get two era score every time we convert a city to our founded religion. Um, and we're trying to get to 126 era score for a golden. All right, so he doesn't like us so much. Interesting. So four for you. Eight for, for him. Four. And 10 for Christina? Okay. So Christina will take your money. I guess not. I should actually pay for open borders, I suppose. Just just for the diplomacy and just for, for the long-term um, want to have that uh, tourism modifier. So let's do open borders across the board. And then let's sell a whole bunch of this to her.
65 gold per turn and 300. Let's see if we can get some books. Actually, what's your value? Because I might sell it elsewhere. Yeah, see, he only wants it to, to the tune of four. So let's actually sell it to him, and then we'll just buy the books. Buy my book. Let's do it this way. I guess we can just do that. So 67 per turn. That works. All right. And then we'll take all of that extra Diplo favor. Buy some books. Got spots all over the place. Let's use a promo for Pingala now for Curator since we're actually doing tourism stuff. Um, and then, yeah, Paris wants to have... Wow, this is all Paris. Who else has um, books? He had a relic. Nothing. 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 So it's just Russia. I don't know how much I have left. <laughs> Still have 135 gold per turn. I don't think it's worth it for one piece of music, though. I think we got plenty. I think we got plenty. So, yeah, everything in Paris... No relic for that. That's okay. Uh, Jambi Man, thank you so much for the following. Gaming Daryl, welcome in as well. Thanks, friends. Appreciate that. Sorry, I'm not keeping up with those. I don't have the audible notifications, and so I'm having a hard time keeping up. But thank you very much. I appreciate all the follows and the support. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and we can no longer pillage. We've made peace. I should have pillaged first and then made peace. Oh, well. One turn on humanism. One turn until we start Mahabadi, which is cool. And hey, we have some uh, tourism ticking now. How far did he get on culture stuff? His 9 of 86. Um, and then his 86 are coming from Simone. We have our work cut out for us. Just purchased the game earlier this week. Awesome. Well, welcome in. I've been streaming this game for, for like three and a half years. So I can tell you all about the history of it. Uh, but also, I like to teach it. So if you have questions or, you, you know, you need something clarified or or if, or if I do something and you're like, why'd you do that? Please don't be shy about asking questions. We're happy to help. Also, I have a Discord that, have a, that has a Civ chat portion if you, uh, if you need some help like this weekend and stuff when I'm not online. We, uh, we have a very helpful community of people. So welcome, and I hope you enjoy Civ 6. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and try to get this. I'm going to take one more look and make sure Mahabari is not being built. It is not. That's fantastic. So we'll go ahead and give it a shot. Taj is up. Uh, maybe we could have this city chop out a Taj. Because Taj can go on a hill, right? What else is an option? I think I like Taj here. Oh, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Gaming, welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Could make Taj. Where else could we make Taj? Not here anymore. Here? And then actually chop out the stuff with Magnus, not caring about the uh, woods. 
I think I like it here because it hits two theater squares. Like there and there. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I'm going to like that the most. All right, we can get an alliance with Russia. What kind of alliance do we have? I actually think I want to research alliance the most, although I'm not sending him trade routes, so I'm not sure what my benefit is here. Um, but I think I like the idea of grabbing a research alliance and just pushing for flight. Gothic or skyscrapers? Why do we need them? Oh, for Taj? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Anybody else building it? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. So, hey, look at We're content. Shocking. Um, so we got that boost. Where are great people coming along? It's going to be very, very tough to snag great people from Russia. And our engineer went, sadly. But the good news is we can start planting Chateau. So you're going to see all of the Earth Goddess goodness start to materialize here because this is a positive um, appeal. Tile improvement, which I'm a big fan of. Got these ones to make two. Double, uh, double culture on these because of our ability. Let's start with these two and we'll worry about chops later. Chateau are as many you want, as long as they're next to a river. And I need builders. I need so many builders now. Clone, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Petra is a brilliant display of man's art history in turning barren rock into majestic wonder. Casual, casual mid-game Petra, as one does. And then I think I'm going to get started immediately on this Taj. Got these locked in. We could certainly lock in yet another district. Can chop that. All right, so we need uh we need surf them back in. Two turns. You can get a bad holy site and then eventually get this. Go after Colossus or Lighthouse. I would take Colossus. Yeah, our 20%. Ooh, he likes me. Um, our 20% is for medieval and a renaissance. Oh, and industrial. Yeah, I want this Colossus. I, the question is, do I want it here? And I guess, I guess the answer is, why not? That's awesome, Buck. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Is this online? This is single player, Mansoor. Single player deity. Yeah, I think Colossus is fine here. 
I don't know if we'll get it. Anybody else building it? Nope. Yeah, trade route would be great for us, frankly. Send you over there. I'll make this temporarily. It's just a builder charge. Later on, we'll put her Hermitage there. Hermitage. Hermits. But yeah, we need some builders now. So two turns I can put in Feudalism. Got good gold per turn. From our trades. No envoys to send. Hey, I'm luck. Let's get that district down. Uh, oh, and we've got a chunk of faith. So let's do... Oh, we'll wait on Mahabadi and see if, if our um, religion gets finished off with that. We can chop these things for it. So this is a six appeal tile. Gotta have that six appeal. Do culture and Diplo work in online or should you always go for science? Uh, I am not the best resource for online strats. Uh, I have heard that you can kind of cheese out those victories, um, but uh, I, I, I'm not, I'm not your, I'm not a multiplayer expert at all. We have people around that are, um, there are plenty of, of amazing multiplayer streamers out there. I assure you, but I am unfortunately not one of them. One more chop for this, if we can get there. It's going to be a national park later on. So, I, I didn't actually look at the numbers. But I know for sure that uh, in the last few turns, our numbers have spiked, right? Part of what's happening is we're getting direct culture uh, from, from the tile improvements themselves, these chateaux and things like that. Uh, we also traded for a bunch of books, so 23 culture in there. Um, and then we're also, by improving the land with all of our chateaux, we're adding in Earth Goddess to a bunch more tiles, which is then giving us additional science, culture, and gold because of our void dedication. So this is starting to look better. We're catching up to Russia in culture. Uh, we've got a long way to go in science and things like that. Printing could help. We should be at, yeah, we should be, yeah. Could, I didn't prioritize printing earlier on um, because of, uh, our, we didn't have any books, right? But now that we've traded for them, that's a good point. We should absolutely grab printing here. And I have two campuses. No, I have one, no, I have two campuses. I might be able to get those two universities. Enlightenment is not that important. We could have have other people's religious tourism. That may matter with uh, Russia. Part of me wants to go grab skyscrapers real quick, but really we're pushing for conservation. What merchants have gone? Um, I would really like the extra wild card great work slots. And they may still be on the table. So I don't know that I want this next one. So I might be hard teching this regardless. Adding culture there, adding culture there. I 
Hey, Noir. Noir, how you doing? Getting flooded more. That's fine. Chop that out soon. This is just a Pangea, please. Pangea map. So if I save two grand and build two libraries, I can probably get this Eureka. We don't get this by, right? We're, we don't get this. Nope, it's just Pangea. So let's chop that. Nightbot does lie sometimes. Sorry about that. <laughs> it does kind of look like a Seven Seas map, but it's definitely Pangea. Okay, so we are working on some wonders. We're working on some districts. We're completing things. This should allow us to enhance our religion. Uh, if not, we've got plenty of faith left to do it. Um, although I'd like, to, I'd like to be in the in the business of saving all of this faith per turn uh, for national parks and things like that. We don't have a a, a like a ton planned, um, but three is a significant amount. As I mentioned earlier, we could certainly put another one there. There are plenty of spots for national parks, especially once you can plant woods. It's like no big deal, right? Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and put a cut in the video. Thank you so much if you've been watching over on the YouTubes. I do appreciate it. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash thegamemechanic and come say hi to us in person on the internet. We'll see you then.